It's been a little while since I posted any videos about any Saab stuff. Uh, the primary reason for that is because I've been driving my Saab 900 with the newly rebuilt engine and I'm completely happy with it. It's actually very, very good. Um, I installed the uh, uh, custom camshafts, uh, you know, about a thousand kilometers after I rebuilt it and retuned it accordingly with much more ignition timing, of course. And uh, yeah, very happy with it. Pulls like, like, cra like crazy. Um, so what I'll do is I'm, I'm doing a couple things in the next little while to the engine. Uh, I'm actually putting a different cylinder head on it, um, and I'll explain why. Um, I already have the 2.1 uh, slash 2.3 cylinder head that you see right here. I actually have this head on my engine now. Um, it's like the big port head that everybody uses. Um, but what I'm actually planning to do is port the original 1985 cylinder head to the same port size as the later head. As you can see, the ports in there um, are reasonably okay, actually. I mean, um, by today's standards, um, not amazing. Um, this is this is the 2.3 slash 2.1 head. But if you look in comparison to the ports on the 85 head, it's a huge difference. The, uh, the ports on that later head are way, way, way bigger. So what I'm actually planning to do is port the 1985 head roughly to the you know roughly the same size as the this head here so and the reason i'm doing that is because as you can see the quench pads on the 1985 cylinder head are far different than the quench pads inside the later head and that accounts for a large CC difference in the combustion chamber, and thus a large amount of compression difference. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a couple of the differences and do a little bit of math to show people uh, some of this stuff that I figured out. So if anybody's wondering, uh, they can just reference this video um, for some information that took me a while to figure out. If you have a 1985 stock motor like you see right there, you have this cylinder head which has this part number, 935824. It has a 42cc combustion chamber. It has really, really small, horrible little ports. It flows like in the 150 CFM range. It's actually really terrible. Because the quench pads in this head are f f make the combustion chamber 42ccs, the dishes in the pistons on the 85 are much bigger than the 86 and later engines. So, if you have an 85 and you just shove on the even larger 48cc head found in the later cars, you'll actually end up with far less than 9 to 1 compression. Um, what I found was with the um, bigger camshafts, the car definitely lacks torque low down. Um, so, I'll explain some of the differences on my table here between the cylinder heads. There's three major heads. Um, in the B202 engine from 85 to like 93. You have the 1985 head, which is measured out at about 42 cc's. And then you have that goofy port head, which is found anything from like 86 to 90. And all the 2 liter cars all pretty much had this goofy port head. You can tell the difference between the normal heads and the goofy port because the roof of one side of the port is actually lowered to get swirl in the combustion chamber. So if you look at a goofy port head, this is not one, of course. Uh, the, the roof of one of the sides is lower to, to create swirl in the combustion chamber. And then, of course, there's the 2.1 and 2.3 big port head, which measures out at about 48 cc. So if you have an 85, the, the dish in the top of the pistons, it's about 15, 14 cc's or so. So the stock compression ratio is 91 with the 42 cc head. If you put that goofy port head on, which would be stupid because it doesn't flow any better, at 46 cc's, you'd end up with 8.3 to 1 compression. But the big port head that everybody would want to put on at, measures out at 48 cc's, so you'd end up with 8.1 to 1 compression ratio, which is pretty low. Um, I mean, it's usable, but still, it's still quite low. So in my engine build, I actually am using the 86 plus pistons in my original 85 block. Uh, they measure about 11 cc's or so. So the stock compression, obviously, with that goofy port head is 9 to 1. If you install the 85 cylinder head with the 42 cc chambers, you're going to end up with 9.7 to 1 compression ratio. 
if you install the big port head onto that, which is what I currently have, I currently have the big port head fitted to the original 86 pistons, you end up with about 8.7. So that's the main reason for doing this work here of porting this cylinder head to the spec of the big port head is so that I can essentially have 9.7 to 1 compression ratio with a good flowing head. And trust me, the better flowing head does make a difference, but not as much as you'd think, believe it or not. The, the, the gains by used by the gains uh, you get from using this later head with the larger ports is actually not uh, really seen until 5,000 RPM and above. Um, but there, there's other issues uh, and to account for for that as well. But overall, of course, this head is better. You are better with that head. Just the, the gains aren't realized until later in the RPM range. So anybody has any questions about some of the other information about these engines, just uh, give me a holler and I hopefully can answer it. Bye for now.